Hi everyone! So today I will be testing out the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Dark Circle Eraser? I don't know. Okay, um, Treatment Concealer. It apparently has Goji Berry and Haloxyl. I don't know what that is, but okay, awesome. I have heard a lot of good things about this concealer, so I am putting it to the test today. I'll be showing you what this looks like with an application demo, what kind of coverage you get, and then how it looks at the end of a 12 hour wear day and whether or not it's worth purchasing this product or maybe just give it a pass. All right, so it is early. We're gonna get through this. All right, I have not even taken this out of the packaging yet. I this comes in six shades. So I purchased the neutralizer shade because um, I read on the back that, what does it say? It says, for extreme dark circles, apply the neutralizer shade underneath your concealer shade. So I will be trying this out with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I bought the neutralizer shade because as you can see up close, I have like circles here, but then underneath the circles, I have like this like hyperpigmentation thing happening on both sides which is sort of magnifying the dark circles even more. So we're gonna try this out and see if it helps with all of this. I get very nervous when it comes to layering um, color correctors and concealers together only because I had a really not so great experience with um, the Bye Bye Under Eye Color Corrector from It Cosmetics. As soon as I applied it, it just it accentuated any, like all the little dry patches in here that I don't see on a regular basis. It was very odd. I put on the regular concealer and it was fine. I added the color corrector and all of a sudden everything just started to show up. Fingers crossed that it works and that I have no under eye cakiness, dryness, whateverness. Okay, so if you've never used this before, then I'll turn this around. Then uh, you are in the same boat as me. This is the first time I've tried this out. It's still in the packaging, so we'll see how it goes. So um, on the back of this, apparently this has something called Haloxyl. I hope I said that right. Apparently the formula has Haloxyl. It instantly covers and diminishes the looks of puffiness. Eye area looks radiant and refreshed. The eraser dark circle is protected with an antimicrobial, microbial, microbial, microbial system. Um, do not wet applicator. Wipe off excess eye concealer with dry tissue only. Okay. So let's do this. All right. So this is the packaging. Whoops. This way. That's French. Uh, so the, this is the packaging. I guess you're supposed to... How the hell do you get the plastic off? Oh god. They don't make this easy. It would help. Ah, there we go. Ah. That helps. Okay, lid is off. We're getting somewhere. So apparently you're supposed to twist this for product. We could be here a while. How y'all doing today? Nope, no product yet. Ooh, I think we're getting there. Almost. We're just about there. Couple more twists. All right, it looks like we have product. All right, let's do this. Okay. So far I'm liking the application of this. The color seems to be okay. Seems to be matching, so I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and just sort of blend this out a bit. I don't know. I don't know what to think. 
I mean, to me, there doesn't seem to be a lot of coverage with this, but then this is meant to be layered with another, this is the neutralizer and it's supposed to be layered underneath your concealer. So that's the side that's untouched and this is the side. All right, I'm gonna apply my concealer over this and see if it makes a difference. So far, I'm not too impressed, but we'll see. So I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And if you've never used this stuff before, it's very, very thick in consistency. You only need the teeny tiniest bit, like teeny tiny. And we're just gonna blend this out. All right, so I have my concealer on as well. Okay, I don't notice, see I wear Bye Bye Under Eye all the time and I'm not noticing a huge difference um, compared to when I just wear the concealer by itself. However, and this is a big bonus, um, the two products work okay together. I'm not noticing, like if you get in there, you get right in there. God, that's an extreme close up of my eye, right in there. All the concerns that I've had with other color correctors, I'm not having with this. Like I'm not having any caking, there's no creasing or cracking, and there's no dry eye, dry patches being accentuated by these two products working together. So for those reasons alone, I am pleased. I am noticing a bit of a brightness and there is a bit of a cooling sensation where I put the uh, the color corrector. It's kind of one of those, I, I'm gonna have to wait until I get the rest of my makeup on and wear it throughout the rest of the day and see how the two work together. So right now it's not a yes, it's not a no. Um, Again, the two products are working well together. There's no caking, there's no creasing, there's no dry patches being accentuated, so that's a yes. It's definitely an improvement from nothing, but I don't, I don't know. One of those I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to uh, do the other eye, I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on, and I'm gonna set my under eyes with a little bit of translucent powder. And then I will check in with you guys at the end of the day and let you know how everything has held up. Hi guys, so this is the 10 hour check-in. Um, so I'm going to come in a little bit close and show you, I don't know if you guys can see how this is worn. This eye here, I don't see any evidence of cracking or caking or dry eyes. On this side, there's a little bit of flakiness happening in the corner here. I don't really know what to think about this concealer. I've heard some positive feedback about it, but for myself, I didn't see anything too terribly impressive about the neutralizer shade. That being said, there's nothing especially awful about it either. I've used other color correctors that are to be worn with concealers and they have been a disaster. Um, this little bit, hold on, this little bit of dryness that I you see here, that's after 10 hours of wear. I was at my mom's today and I helped clean out her basement. She had some water damage caused by the land not being graded in the appropriate manner. So she's having the land outside regraded and my brother and I are getting all the drywall. So I worked my butt off today, sweating profusely. And this held up through the entire process. So yes, I have a teeny tiny little bit of flaking. I can't say it's a total dud and I can't say it's my favorite. I wasn't too terribly impressed with the coverage. Even when paired with my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, I just felt like I expected more. That being said, it didn't crease, it didn't crack. Up until the end of the day, I didn't have any issues with dry eyes and it lasted a very long, sweaty work day. I have to wonder if the neutralizer shade is a thinner formula because I've heard nothing but positive feedback from people who have bought the fair, light, and medium shades. So that's something to take into consideration too. So that is my first impressions review of this product. I'm going to continue to play around with it and we will see how it goes. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you on my next video. Bye.